strap in, watch this video all the way through. Last night, we saw Ryan Cohen make a little bit of moves on Twitter, first tweeting YOLO and then deleting the tweet, which got people hyped. And then he tweeted, Trump is the shit. He also changed his picture on his profile to what looks to be a younger version of himself. There are plenty of theories rolling around. There are plenty of tins rolling around. I'm going to actually show you whatever tinfoil hat theory is correct. The charts don't lie. And <laughs> let's just say I'm hyped for the week. First things first, like the video and drop a comment down below. To engage the algorithm. One of the theories is, first of all, is he getting younger in his profile pictures? And then next up is that baby that he actually posted about, right? A girl, Ryan Cohen, giving birth. Keep in mind, we're also in that American flag territory, which might correlate to Roaring Kitty's emoji line. Now, the whole Trump is the shit, spelling out T-I-T-S, tits, jack to the tits, a saying that retail has used over the past few years when we get jacked up about the price action, right? So first, he says YOLO, which could have led him into a market manipulation lawsuit, technically. Probably, right? I'm, I don't know the legality behind that, but it probably wouldn't be good for him. Then he deletes it. Smart man, smart move, because obviously retail sees that stuff. We overlook into things. and obviously it's going to stick, right? Whatever he posts and deletes, it's basically still out there because of how much attention we've put on it. Now, here are a couple correlations before we touch on the charts because people are saying the end of October is the beginning of it all. October 28th, 2008, the price of Volkswagen common shares ended up squeezing basically to the moon and people are talking about how the market is setting up like an 08 crash as well. Now, that shit coin we talked about yesterday being up 18,000% is now up 300 thousand percent but not only that gamestop wrapped ethereum is up another 18 percent on the day and you can see this thing has been rallying you can actually go get this on uniswap right now and it's continuing to scale higher since october 13th well technically october 11th but this first big move on october 13th and I think GameStop's price is going to lag right behind this. Not to mention, GameStop is starting to see an increase in volume. So people are calling out for a repeat of November. They're also calling out for the floor to be risen with Ryan Cohen's strategy of dilution, raising a ton of capital, so on and so forth. And speaking of raising a ton of capital, can we just talk about how GameStop dropped a 10Q filing? And it wasn't just Ryan Cohen that you know, made a tweet and it's blowing everything up, they dropped a filing. The filing basically shows that they have 5.5 billion in assets and cash on hand, which is insane for any company, but GameStop specifically. Also, just a side note, uh, Black Ops 6 is coming out, so that's great. I think it just came out at midnight. Now, somebody moved 348,000 from November 22nd, $10 calls to today, October 25th, which could have been an exercising play, could have been a move, just take that with a grain of salt. Now, is Ryan Cohen saying YOLO, you only live once because that was the last time to purchase shares? Is he saying YOLO because he's about to do something? Who knows? But the way the price is lining up is perfect. Hopefully, you guys are a returning viewer and you know what we have been tracking because over the past probably few months, basically this whole setup, we've been tracking GameStop very, very correctly. We even caught the first move back here in call options. And I think we're going to catch this one because we were in call options as of Wednesday or Thursday this week over in Discord. And we also talked about it here on the channel. Still sitting in those and holding those. Based on the chart pattern, what we see next for GameStop, assuming this never happened, was a scale higher and break out of this flag, okay? Not necessarily knowing to the exact level and the exact extreme of things, but I'm going to talk about how we may have just gotten an answer. Now, based on the chart pattern, right, you can see right here, I'll highlight it in yellow. This is the one that we're trading at right now, stretched a little bit further to match up with some specific things. We are trading right here, okay? This is where GameStop ended the week. It got the scale higher and then this flush down. And now you see that straight shot higher. How much did this rise by? 50% or so. Bringing us into GameStop's chart. 50% or so. GameStop's likely to come up to our first resistance level at $29.40. And that is my price target for the next two weeks, right? It didn't just straight up catapult to it. But for the next two weeks, that will be my price target, $29.40. 40 and that is the minimum price target that's not saying algorithms don't break roaring kitty doesn't tweet anything ryan cohen doesn't drop anything gamestop doesn't get a major catalyst the market doesn't crash all these 
underlying factors. I see GameStop going extremely green on the week, and it's likely to happen pre-market Sunday or overnight trading Sunday and then into pre-market. Even though we didn't see any after hours moves, even extended hours trading moves on Robinhood after Ryan Cohen's tweet, I think something is brewing in the water right here. Um, and whoever wasn't in Friday is probably going to miss out. And again, I could be completely wrong. We could see sideways trading, and obviously that's not going to be fun for anybody who is hyped. But why not be hyped, right? And we can't forget about AMC. AMC, $4.50, and $5 calls for November have been uh, the primary drivers of the call premium that has been exploding on AMC. Keep in mind, AMC is also reporting earnings November 6th after the closing bell. So it should be a good earnings call. And some people are betting that AMC is going to be gapping higher into November. Also, not to mention, AMC's point of interest is lining up perfectly with where we're at now. Finally, fighting that $4.35 level to get a break higher. Again, it's held down a lot worse than GameStop. It barcodes a lot worse than GameStop. And I'm not sure what happened with GameStop over time. But we raised $4 billion in cash or so. And they haven't been able to pin the price lower. I'm not sure what they're doing that AMC's not doing, but it's working. So drop your tinfoil hat theories in the comments down below. I don't think this is some sort of stupid mention, like he's mentioning a retail investor. I find that extremely dumb. But hey, who knows, right? He also recently tweeted something from ChatGPT showing that the odds of Trump winning are higher than Kamala Harris, 55 to 57 percent, and then he tweets Trump is the shit. So he's saying, hey, listen, Trump is a good thing, and the odds of him likely winning are higher, right? So will throw that in there as well. Now, I brought up GNS in yesterday's video. Evidence of naked short selling and spoofing has been found in GNS or Genius Group with potential damages of 250 million US dollars. Looks like this naked short selling and spoofing case is finally going to be moving forward. Between this and the NWBO case, mark makers are at least in the spotlight for illegal manipulation. The case outcomes could finally help other companies fight back. I mentioned GNS potentially taking a position as the CEO is coming back out meaning he likely has some proof or evidence of something, and that's exactly what is happening, right? Bringing more things to the service on short sellers. And since we are talking about that, we talked about short sellers heavily shorting silver, factual, as well as gold. Well, the CME will be raising margin requirements by 4.3% on silver futures effective October 25th, 2024. Now, what does this mean? Well, first of all, you could see silver have a short squeeze. Why would shorts want to hold more when the margin requirements are rising and they're already $1.3 billion in losses on silver as it is, as well as gold? They are shorting. I would feel bad to be a short seller in today's market. Everyone anticipating a correction or recession and just not happening yet. Now, before we move on, I want to touch on a couple other things, but I'm going to tell you really quick. I've been trading on Moomoo, and it's an excellent platform for any beginner or advanced trader. I get level two order book data, so before I enter a trade, I can see where wills are loading up and dropping off large amounts of shares. I also have access to shorting if I wanted to which is pretty cool, and trading options all for free. I don't have to pay for level two order book data, all that other stuff, right? I also get a customizable earnings calendar, which is sick, access to viewing other exchanges. But most importantly, if you sign up through my link and make a deposit into your Moomoo account, you're getting up to 15 free stocks. You're also hooking me up, so courtesy of Moomoo, hooking us both up. It takes two minutes and you can do it on the weekend. Once you open an account and deposit, you're going to start earning all of these cool benefits, including a $30 cash reward and 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash for three months and then 5.1% for the rest of the time being. So basically, you're trading, you're trading, but when you're not and it's sitting in your account, you're earning over 8% on that with zero risk. So press the link, open a Moomoo account, and make a deposit into there. Now, NVIDIA has just overtaken Apple to become the world's most valuable company, which is insane. I remember my buddy sold NVIDIA at around $500 a share on accident. He meant to do a trailing stop loss and it ended up just closing out his position. Ah, poor kid. Moving on, US government is investigating Tether for potential sanctions and money laundering violations. Lastly, banks again are not doing well and we need to cover it. Wells Fargo may lose up to $3 billion on its office building loans. And again, this is being optimistic, but you can clearly see a trend in global central bank liquidity continuing to fall, breaking out of this channel. And we may be on the brink of some sort of black swan event like we saw in the previous historical crashes for the market. And you can see 
It's starting with these banks. Western Alliance down 2%, First Horizontal Bank, M&T Bank, Huntington Bank, Shares, Citizens Financial Corp, Zions, Trust Financial Corp, Synovus, New York Community Band Corp, Regions Financial. And New York Community Band Corp is down 10% after reporting earnings. So all of that crazy stuff is happening, brewing on the sidelines of GameStop, ready to pull the rug on short sellers and plug in the rocket, right? Overall, guys, if you're not subscribed, turn post notifications on. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm going to try to respond to as many comments as I can. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Make sure to get in the Discord. It's the first link under the video, guys, right here. I put it at the top because now I think it is the most important. Right, This group has been making people money, and it's such good vibes, whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, or you're having something going on in life where you want to level yourself up. It's literally only a coffee a month, so I'm not overcharging. That way, everyone can get in it, even if you're just starting out. I post my trades as soon as I enter them as well. There's options, sweep orders in there, market news as soon as it comes out, dark pool alerts, insider trade alerts, and more. The fact that it's only this cheap is like a no-brainer. Because eventually, it's not going to be like that. Also, my custom indicator is right here. If you want it for two weeks for free, you can add it to your trading view charts. It is pattern detection and forecasting. Do not sleep on it, guys. Overall, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Get in the Discord after this video and download Moomoo. I love you all. Lottery socks out.